Hello and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host Mitchell J. Rabin and we're very glad that you're joining us again today. Today we're going to have another very interesting show. We are on location at Mark Becker's New Life Expo here at the New Yorker Hotel in New York City and we are seated with Frank Luda who came here from Vancouver in order to give talks and a workshop at the New Life Expo on a very pioneering idea that he has had concerning treatment of all manner of diseases through a means that is not really well known and not well promulgated anywhere else but through Frank and his clinic up in Vancouver. He'll be speaking with us about his work and uh, the kind of results he's gotten which are nothing short of awesome. So thanks so much for being on the show, Frank. Thank you. Really. A pleasure. Good to be here. Good. Thank you. Good, good. So if you would, because of the nature of time and everything, give us an idea of what it is that distinguishes this particular approach that you have come across um, from all other approaches that you know of. I call my treatment metabolic therapy. And the biggest distinction I can see is that I don't treat symptoms, I treat the cause. Go all the way back to the cause, detox the body, and then rebuild it one step at a time. Now how do you arrive at the cause of knowing what the causes are? Well, the cause is a breakdown in the functioning, 100% functioning of the body. Immune uh, function, primarily? Immune function or lack of proper protein synthesis at one time. The immune system is just part of the whole protein synthesis in the body. Could you explain that uh, phrase? The body, protein is the second most abundant ingredient in the body right next to water. It is the most important source or the major source of building material for all body tissue including blood, skin, hair, nails and all organs including the heart and the brain. Mm -hmm. So the, the body makes out of amino acids over 50,000 proteins, over 20,000 enzymes, over 2,000 hormones. When they're all there in a proper quantity simultaneously, then the body is healthy. Mm -hmm. So at one time, something breaks down and it affects another. It has a domino effect. You, you, you miss one protein, synthesized protein. To, uh, just to explain to everybody, everybody knows, but let's just see how important sin is the Greek word for together. Okay? Mm -hmm. Symphony means tones together make music. Mm -hmm put proteins together to make any one of those over 50,000 proteins. They're made of 22 different amino acids, out of which eight are essential. They have to come in from outside the body, that means by the diet. Mm -hmm. And especially essential amino acids have to be there in a specific pattern simultaneously or something breaks down. Mm -hmm. If just one of those essential amino acids is low or missing, then protein synthesis will either go low or come to a complete stop. And in your experience, Frank, uh, improper protein synthesis is really cause of disease. It's, all, yeah, it's the breakdown of the body's making tissue, making essentially. all the proteins, whether it be tissue, whether it be hormones, whatever it is. Enzymes. Uh, enzymes, yeah, over 20,000 so enzymes. So enzymes, pardon my ignorance, but enzymes come from the synthesis of protein? Of protein. Mm. You don't make enzymes without protein. Protein is needed to make It's the building block. building block. Major source of building material for enzymes. Interesting. Mm. You want to build a brick building, you ship bricks to the job mm -hmm. site. Bricks are the major source of building material for brick building. I use that analogy. Quite of course, of course. Yeah. It's a good one. And at the same time, we know that the body has many different needs, well, one of which, of course, is essential fatty acids, another is minerals, another is certain kinds of vitamins. Mm -hmm. How do those fit into the picture? I use them all. You do? Yeah. yeah. As part of your treatment, yeah, you use them all? My treatment, oh, okay. I use injections of supplements, injections of all B vitamins, of concentrated liver and a special comb which I call SL, the secret of life.
<laughs> it's nothing that I concoct or cooked up. It comes from ready-made bottled manufacturers' bottles. It's just a lucky combination that I found that puts it all together. Hmm. It's similar to, especially with the B vitamins. B vitamins, and it's very important to realize, do not work as vitamins as such in the body. They are converted to coenzymes. They're needed to as coenzymes in the body. All B vitamins become mm. coenzymes. Mm -hmm. That happens in the liver. I see. Coenzymes are needed to help the enzyme to dismantle very complicated protein molecules. I see. Almost similar to a bolt cutter. Without a handle, a bolt cutter does nothing. So you actually do real cutting action of the molecules inside your body and you can compare the bolt, the handle of the bolt cutter with the coenzymes. Mm -hmm. and it's almost like I'm giving the body a kick start, okay, by injecting them all in heavy doses on a daily basis for 12 weeks, well, instead of daily, I should say five times a week, mm -hmm. Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. I kick start the body. And if it's, let's if it compare with a, a lying object, the first day it rolls a little bit. Next day, I kickstart again, it rolls a little bit longer. And you do that endless, it keeps on rolling. Then you know the metabolism is functioning right. I see. By that, I beat metabolic strength in the body's command center, which is the limbic system. The main command center, the biggest part of the human body, is the hypothalamus. It is a gland about that big, six centimeters in cube. It controls every function in your body. It controls temperature, fear, activity, sleep, sexuality, mm -hmm. hunger. It controls the autonomic nervous system, which via the parasympathetic and symp sympathetic nerve strengths innervate, innervates all activity of all organs. It controls the uh, endocrine system, which is all hormonal production and exchange of hormones, and it controls the somatic system, which is the growth system. And growing is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. A child grows to, to physical maturity up to the age of 18, give or take a mm -hmm. few months. And then after the age of 18, you have to continuously grow in order to maintain a regular organ size. So it's very important. I stimulate the production of growth hormones. And we laughed about that before. One of the things I use for that is good old chicken broth. Mm -hmm. And the broth that I use is made of feed. Actually, for 12 weeks, my patients drink one liter of chicken broth daily, part of the regimen. And chicken feed, to all we know. Chicken feed broth in particular. Yeah, yeah. In the chicken feed, the, the, I use the feed of the chicken for this broth because it has, from what we know, the best proportion of two amino acids, L-arginine and L-ornithine, which stimulate the production of growth hormones. Mm. As I said before, growing is what it's all about. So after all, Frank, uh, our grandmothers were right. They were right. Jewish penicillin yeah, or solves Jewish all problems. Jewish boo. Yeah, that's uh, the expression I heard. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Called both. Uh, sure. Yeah, the diet is very important. Since protein is so important, uh, all my patients go on animal protein. I, I, if the vegetarians come, I convert them, and after a while they're very happy to be converted. <laughs> uh -huh. For the main reason But is isn't uh, animal protein very difficult to digest? Yeah, that's when, but you need it, so you enable the body to digest it, so I use really heavy enzymes at the beginning, and as the body is enabled... Additional the enzymes. Them, yeah, oh yeah. As the body is enabled to produce them by themselves, I back off with them. You need, you need to make very sure that everybody understands the digesting process. You do not digest in the stomach. In the stomach, you break the food down in a very, very thin colored broth. Well, you actually are digesting, but you're not assimilating. It's not, the it's assimilation. Not it's not called digestion, mm. actually. Uh, so it's, oh, no. It's, yeah, it's, it's breaking the food down, which right. is called a digestion. Well, okay. it's part of the but entire it's part digestive, of the system. digestive system. That's yeah. what I meant. Uh, but the digestion itself, the dismantling of the molecules into individual either mm -hmm. amino acids or atoms, 
happens in the intestines. So in the stomach, you break it down. In the intestines, you digest it. It breaks down, actually, in the mouth, it then starts, in yeah. the stomach. Yeah, yeah. And when it gets to the intestines, it's mm -hmm. starting to be broken down even further for absorption exactly. or for uh, separating out what will become waste and what will be used. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's even digestion going on in the colon sure. still. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, when somebody comes, Frank, to Vancouver for your treatments, what goes on? Well, we help them to find a place to stay. Most of the time, that's arranged before. Mm -hmm. I work with apartment buildings and one very close to my, uh, to mm -hmm. my residence. I operate out of my residence, mm -hmm. a big one, mm -hmm. uh, and a nice part of the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they start coming. They, they do not come alone. They need a support giver with them. They Spouse, friend, yeah. what have you. Uh, if it's friend, good friend. Family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, then they come to my college clinic five days a week. We have half an hour, two one hour, depending on how much we need. Mm -hmm. They get an injection each time. We monitor their progress, blood pressure, pH, and so on. I have the temperatures taken twice a day to give me an idea where we are going with detox. Mm -hmm. And when we start the rebuilding process. And a big part of my life are other people's bowel movements. Uh, that they change drastically during detoxification. So at some Do you have colonics available? No, no, I'm no. totally opposed to colonics. Mm -hmm. oh, I've only used colonics three times in eight and a half years. Mm -hmm. I get rid of toxins by strengths, by building strengths up. I, mm -hmm. uh, when a lot of people say, look, I have detoxified, and everybody around my place grins because we know they have not been detoxified. We go after the toxins, or I go after the toxins, right deep side, uh, inside the cell. And the only way to get them out there is by metabolic strength. So we uh, build up a little bit of strength first, get the, rid of the first shot of toxins, then there's a break, but they're at one plateau of strength or health already. Then they go for the next set. It's almost like going down a root canal or a cylinder, a cone-shaped cylinder. The further you get down, the harder it is to get them out. So you have to build up more strength to get them down. So in a sense, are you building up the cellular strength and yeah. bodily strength? So it will force, force the, the cells to exchange? Yeah. Is that what Almost you're saying? Almost physically squeeze them out. They actually do they squeeze them out. So that has a lot to do with oxygen and water, actually, oh, yeah. to transport. You need a lot of water. and, and uh, that's why the bowel movements get so tricky because stool is on average 80% water. And when the body needs to take water, it takes it right out of the colon from the stool. That's why a lot of people pluck up. Yes. There are times when 80% of my life are other people's bowel movements. It gets that. <laughs> yeah. But why is it that you don't believe in uh, colonics? Just they, they, they just get loose stuff out. Mm -hmm. They can also wash stuff back into the cone, into mm -hmm. the pockets, okay? But that's not real, that's just loose stuff that it can wash out. You yeah. get deep uh -huh. down in there into the pockets. Mm -hmm. You, got, you mm -hmm. find this that after six, eight weeks, when the black tar comes out, then you know you're squeezing. I see, and that can happen simply through increasing protein synthesis? Yeah, through the, the, the whole program. Okay? Through the whole program, the whole yeah. Program. Through all of it, protein synthesis, that is, yeah, it, boils down to proper protein synthesis, which builds up And strength. supplementation. Yeah, but the supplementation helps to make the protein synthesis. So it's yes, indeed. It's a complementary relationship. Yeah, it's always yes. together. And the proper diet, of course. Without mm -hmm. the proper diet, nothing happens. Indeed. And a diet is a good diet. It we cut out all alcohol, all caffeine, all sugar, all fruits. Uh, it's hard for me to pronounce. And the vegetables that contain sugar, i.e. peas, carrots, cut beans, and beets. They will be reintroduced after 12 weeks. It takes me 12 mm -hmm. weeks, like I said, to keep that ball rolling all the time. Then I you see. can reintroduce some of these items. I see. The diet is mainly based on fish and free-range chicken, or turkey, but then people don't eat too much turkey and uh, good carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates like... Your potatoes. Legumes, potatoes. Yeah, legumes, yeah, but they're cooked in good old chicken broth, of course. <laughs> yes. And uh, you have Mother's to add, own. <laughs> yeah, add uh, animal protein to it, in most cases, chicken, so that you can make the legumes complete protein. Mm -hmm. It's always about com complete.
Yes, 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 yes. So this is a new diet, especially well, when they're detoxifying, diet. they're eating chicken. And yeah, <laughs> it should, should be their diet. This is the way people should eat. After 12 weeks, we reintroduce uh, red meat. They don't have to take it. You mm -hmm. can easily live off chicken, fish, and eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, very high in biological value or validity. And uh, that's all you need. It's actually good basic meat and potato diet, or fish and potato diet. So when the patients also go through an educational program in lifestyle and diet and cooking. I used to be a chef at one time, uh -huh, uh -huh. quite famous as a matter of fact. Uh -huh. So they pick up a lot of information. I see. The detox. German cuisine? Uh, no, international. Oh, put that good. <laughs> uh, Cook is too, 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 too fat. As yeah. the way from that yeah. part of yeah. I don't know if there's such a thing as a, ger a famous German chef, but <laughs> yeah, some but they're over here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they don't cook German here, food. Don't, don't <laughs> That's my point. Right? Steaks. <laughs> yes, things. right. True. Yeah, yeah. So I know it's like what I'm doing there. Some cases are so extreme that I can hardly believe myself what I've done. Give us, Frank, a few examples of well, some of your. Of well, your successes that have let's just let's take some that that where we can really say uh, I, I can still reach them because people travel all over the world. The ones sure. from far away you lose contact very soon. Now you've been doing this yeah. for eight or nine years, so you've been able yeah. to track at least yeah. some of the couple yeah. of hundred yeah. people you've worked with one for is, this length. Yeah, one is Wally. He's well documented on a video promotion video which I have. He came to me in '91, and he was crippled. He had had mm. had ankylosing spondylitis and the rheumatoid arthritis for over 11 years. He's tried everything. He could not stand more than three minutes and he was like totally crippled. Mm. And I rebuilt this man step by step and he's an athlete today. That was major. <sighs> How I long did it take him from... It took him seven months to throw the cane away. And then, you know, he started moving the neck before he could move his neck more than an inch and a half. You now can throw it around any way mm. he wants. I've got him on video how he bicycles, how he kayaks. He, he can do anything he mm -hmm. wants. Uh, that was major. But this, the same, the same. And he followed strictly him, your like, regimen yeah, for seven yeah, plus yeah. months. What I found is the one follow it right down. No, he followed it later to totally rebuild him. Took longer. I mean, this was yes. severe. Oh sure. But they don't need me for that long time. They need me for the first 12 weeks, and in those 12 weeks are, the edu are also the education process. Yes. Why, that's why those daily consultations. That one was so hard, because the first four weeks, the first four weeks were actually pretty good. He showed some improvement. And then for four months, nothing. This was hard to put him through mostly. And I had not done that type of the healing before. Mm -hmm. So I had nobody point out to. Today it's easy, I can say, here, look at Wally, give him a call, if you want to. Mm. Uh, one very, one that must have been quite frustrating oh, yeah, times, for four months oh, to pass yeah, without yeah, any kind of palpable change. Yeah, and then his friends hang on, look, I know you've tried so much, this guy is the same and so on, you got to yeah, count on yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm with the, all the record I have now, I'm unfortunately over that right now. Yes. Or to them. Yes. Um, uh, 92, I did what could be a world record manic depression treatment. That poor lady was. Kathy, I never give last names, even on the videotape, the mm -hmm. last names have been changed. She was 42 at the time and she looked like a mag truck for modern lithium. She had been mm. on 2100 milligrams of lithium per day for five months, a total of five years on lithium. And she was on her way out. She had at the most four weeks to live because she would have had to go up to 2400 and uh, liver mm. kidney would have never done that. Mm. Uh, it was hard, it was severe, but I took her off it totally. I sent her during the treatment to hypnotherapy also to deal with the trauma which caused the original problem. No sense healing it if you leave the psychological or traumatic cause there which can cause it all over again. Sure. And she is totally healed, totally off drugs, and she is a wonderful, happy woman today. Mm. And if you look at the picture from before and after, you wouldn't believe it's the same person. God, that's yeah, extraordinary. Yeah, so yeah. it's that your work really spans both the more biologically rooted as well as the psychologically rooted oh, yeah, problems. No, we have to know of course, exactly. you'll see that 
psychology is spun off of biology anyway. Exactly. And actually, yeah. they're more interactive than that. Yeah. Much biology is yeah. spun out of uh, yeah, but trauma. You know, the, the most important thing is not that I prove, look, I can do. The most important thing is that the patient is healed. Oh, by that's all means, all by all really means, important. by all means. I've done three years ago, or no, two and a half years ago, a man with a prostate cancer. Now, very common cancer for men right now. He was late 50s and he had tried to battle by himself for five years. His PSA was up to 600. And that's where the medical profession would, would panic right away. Well, he had one of get out the that knife. size, but the bigger than a walnut. And so what happens, PSA, prostate specific antigens. Antigens are proteins that the body, that the specific organ, organ produces to trigger the production of antibodies to get rid of whatever is in the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, with all that protein synthesis, I encapsulated that thing right away so that the body, it could not grow or endanger the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, in nine months, six or nine months, uh, I'd have to check, his PSA count went up to 2,500. And the doctors, all of them, checked uh, medical his literature. There's nobody known in medical literature Mm. who survived 2,500 PSA. Oh then it took me six months to get him down to 300. So when he came to you, it was 600 or 2,500? It was 600. I got him up to 2,500 because I created all that protein synthesis. Yes. So in a lot of things that I do cannot be measured or evaluated with conventional means because at when he was up that high, everybody in the medical field panicked. They put him through every test because by their way of, 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 of their standards of yeah. measurement by their he should have been dead he should have been dead because he should have had the council over and the bones and lymph nodes everything was a hundred percent clear so it's so in short uh, after starting working with you the problem according to normal measurement seemed to worsen exactly yeah. before it came back yeah, and that's of course very hard then mm, to keep the patient's scary. confidence yeah uh, it's wonderful to, 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 to heal kids and that's where my future is going to need to write that book down because mm, especially kids treatments the parents can do themselves once it's properly written down and there are so many examples that I have. One extremely touching one was the story of a Chinese boy, his name was Hilton, Miss Hilton. He had had eczemas on his whole body since birth and to the point where the parents could never touch him. <laughs> and of course, all kinds of allergies, and that, then, then, you, then you cannot eat protein, so it gets worse because you need enzymes that are made of protein to battle allergies. Oh. And he kept on going down. They tried the whole medical route, they tried. I don't know how much internal food till they found me. That was in November last year. In February, I had all the eczemas gone, and as a matter of fact, on one Tuesday, uh, the lady, the mother called me up and said, hey Frank, you wouldn't believe what he did on Sunday. On Sunday, he was all over us for the first time in his life, the whole day, and he kissed and hugged us all day. Mm. That actually gave the final point on my decision to write this book, so this is in the near future. I see. Uh, what my plans until then are is that I want to go on a lecture tour for two day seminars to, to, to get more exposure and maybe find people that want to be taught because I'm ready to teach. So you mean people can come to you who, let's say they're not so, let's say, say they're not really ill at all, but in a two day seminar they can learn enough about your approach having to do with uh, yeah. protein synthesis, the combination of other vitamins, minerals, um, essential fatty acids, etc., and start in on a regimen yeah, yeah. that will keep them healthy for life. Yeah, take me two days. What I envision are uh, 200 people holiday, uh, not holiday seminars, so, uh, because you want to spread your efforts. Of course. Okay? You want to reach of as course. many as possible, but that's enough to keep communication. So what we're really place. talking about, Frank, is that there's a, there's a dietary regimen that people can embark upon, yeah. that can ensure health, yeah, yeah. is what you're saying. And you find this out yeah. in all the speeches, like the two-hour lectures or so that I hold, that people are so confused, what really should 
be done. What's what healthy and what's not right, healthy. Yeah, and is, what are the uh, supplements and why this and why I mean, that. There are it really takes two days to unravel this. Whole, two days is not a long time to unravel all of that. Days, human digestion and human <laughs> chemistry are in quite days, involved. In six hours I can put the average person on total life for him. The motto is nobody needs to be sick. And I mean it. And sure. I have the, the tools and I have the knowledge to pass this on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no doubt. Mm -hmm. If you can cure the most serious diseases with something, then you can prevent them with less intensity. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Now you have, just for the record, you have treated people and detoxified people, really. Oh, yes. Uh, quite powerfully, it sounds. Yeah. Uh, who have all manner, all different kinds of cancers. Yes. Leukemia. Yes. Yes. Yes, leukemia, yes. Brain tumors? Yeah, uh, the last brain tumor had to be operated on. It was an inoperable one. Mm -hmm. okay, tumors, they have like feet and legs stacking yeah. out. So we actually grew it, okay, to, to cover all the holes in between. And out of an inoperable one, I made an operable one out of a negative thing. Mm -hmm. out. So uh, uh, it's, I just enabled the body to do what needs to be done to survive. I mean, brain tumors are hard. It's, it's now is there it's any hard. particular disease pattern that you have not been able to successfully handle? Yeah, only when they've had, like, when they've had too much other treatment, and I don't want to single any out now, when in any trouble, but if other treatments have run the immune system down, then, of course, it's difficult. So any immune-compromising kind yeah, of treatment yeah. the ideal situation compromises is your ability to exactly, function. You know, my, right now, my success rate with cancer patients that have not had chemo radiation, providing they're below the age of 65, uh, is 100%. And, uh, what kind of cancers have those? Con those were uh, three breast cancers now, but there was a small cell lymphoma carcinoma. And prostate a very rare one. Yeah, mm -hmm. a very rare one that they didn't even have chemo for 12 weeks, he did flat, and that was wow. tested by examination and blood tests. Now, what kind of follow-up has there been since those oh, breast cancers, they, prostate yeah, cancer? They, uh, prostate cancer, I haven't talked to for some time. We, this happens, they move away, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if there would be something serious, I would hear about it. Mm -hmm. And the others were close by, so once in a while I hear from them. I see. And mostly when they want to make me feel good. <laughs> yes, but indeed. But some new improvement that they've yeah. well being, well Well, I'll tell you, this is really radical work you're doing. Uh, there are many people who have embarked upon treatment and deto using detoxification, of course, and any number of other um, alternative means for treatment, but uh, none that I know of can boast of 100% uh, efficacy. So uh, no, no, I have I best treatment in the world, no doubt. I say this, and uh, it's a hard statement to make. I can back it up, and I accept any intelligent challenge, not any challenge, <laughs> but it's got to be intelligent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the work you're thank doing you and for, for your being on the show. Absolutely. Thank you. A pleasure. Keep My up the pleasure. good work. Thank you, Richard. Absolutely. Thank you. This is Mitchell J. Rabin for A Better World. Hope you found that interesting. I sure did. Thanks so much for joining us, and thank you, Mark Becker, for bringing Frank to New York for our uh, greater education. Thanks so much for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you all next week.